climate change is definitely making our historic drought worse. That's what scientists claim this afternoon and what some are calling the most detailed report on the subject ever. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen on the report and reaction to it. With no end in sight in California's drought, a new study from Columbia University says climate change is making matters worse. The increase of evaporation because of warming in California has caused the current drought to be somewhere between 8 and 27 percent more severe. Dr. Park Williams says heat trapping greenhouse gas emissions are to blame. Today, Governor Jerry Brown said the report should serve as a wake up call for Republicans and interest groups who don't take climate change seriously. GOP strategist Reed Galen says Republicans do want cleaner air and water, but not at the risk of taking natural resources away from agriculture and other economic concerns. It's hard to illustrate what 25% faster evaporation looks like. You know, folks aren't sitting in their backyard watching their lawns turn from green to brown. They're not sitting there watching a glass of water, you know, start at the top and go halfway full. Heal the Bay's Dana Robert Murray says you don't have to look too hard to see the value of the science behind the study, which assessed the precipitation, temperature, wind, humidity, and solar radiation of nearly 24,000 locations in California. Whether people choose to believe in climate change or not, the science is real. Climate change is happening now. That's the goal of the study's author, who says we're borrowing from the future if we don't address things today. And the future is going to have to deal with it because they won't have groundwater or because they're going to have so much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that there's really no turning back. In the meantime, all sides in the debate over climate change continue to turn up the heat. Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News.